Hello YouTube. Well we're at the two week mark on this trailer rebuild. Water damage repair of the subfloor. And I got quite a bit of progress to show you. We've been working pretty hard over the past three or four days. And we're coming to a milestone of a change of, of the project. So here's the kitchen. All the sheetrock is complete and the taping this edge I got a fresh coat of mud on there for smoothing that out because that's going to be out just outside the cabinets and then the same thing with the top here we're going to paint all the wallpaper in the kitchen here and then all this is going to be underneath cabinetry but the sheetrock is done. The floor's obviously done in here. And then in the bathroom, all the sheetrock in here is complete as well. This is ready to paint. This will get painted this afternoon, hopefully. And that's the next project is to start the painting. Some of the ladies are going to do some of the painting in here. But that wall's all closed up. Tape mudded and final sanded ready for paint or primer and then paint and same thing with this part of the bathroom as well where the vanity is going to fit it's all been tape mudded and painted or uh, and sanded and uh, they've matched the paint with this light blue that's in here it's kind of hard to tell with the lighting what color it actually is but hopefully the paint will match up fairly well and then uh, that that won't have to be painted up there just down these edges and where I've done the repairs on the sheetrock so that's almost ready for a vanity well paint and then put the flooring in and then the vanity so coming along real nice in the bathroom and now the big surprise here's the bedroom and the hallway with new laminate flooring so in all these closets the lighting's kind of poor but we've got the, the laminate all the way out to this closet and the hallway is done in the bedroom except for trim around the edges but the closet's been done underneath the washer and dryer and it's just temporarily shoved back in there to get it out of the way we, we need to put trim around the baseboard and then we'll slide it back in, connect it, and it'll be ready to fire up and use. Put our piece of uh, railing across here after we move that laminate out of the way. Reinstall the closet doors. Put the trim all the way around the edges. Got it over here to the door. Real nice. And then a piece of trim will go right across underneath the toe, the toe step right there, right along the edge, just to finish that edge. But it worked out real good. That's what it looks like around the heater vent. And then the overall floor. Real nice flooring. It's been a pleasure to work with. It's been definite learning curve. You can easily mess up cuts and mess up pieces of wood if you're not careful and we've done several of those. But we didn't waste too many pieces and I think we'll have enough to do it. If not, we'll have to buy one more box, but uh, it really looks good. I, I'm amazed of how far this, this project has come in the short, in the two week period of time. And real happy with with the way it's coming together but boy nice no squeaky spots in the floor or anything as far as we can tell anyway <laughs> and I hope that they enjoy the the flooring it was it's just come out real nice if you remember I'll try to show a before and after we before and after picture of this 
how it looks today and how it looked a week, two weeks ago, boy, it was something else. We still haven't put these last three drawers in because we've got the plumbing for the for the bathtub right back in there, and uh, we want when we turn the water on, we want to double check those connections, and if they're not leaking, then we'll put that access door on back there and push these drawers in and that'll be complete and these drawers will be out of our way but once we get the trim around the edges in this bedroom the bedroom is complete and we can start putting their bed and furniture and they can put clothes in the closet and just set their bedroom up basically however they want to set it up they'll have a usable washer and dryer a nice bed area and then we're going to continue to uh, to plug away on this bathroom and it's not going to be too long and it'll be finished as well and then they'll have a bedroom and a bathroom that are usable the refrigerator sits right here in front of this outlet so once we get flooring in that section we can slide the refrigerator into place and plug it in and it'll be usable as well and then this section right where this line is where that mudding tape is right there down the edge of this laminate to that wall that's going to be basically a floor to ceiling cabinet and then uh, cover up this uh, fresh air intake but there's a door and a screen and everything that fits on the front so that that gets air and then you can reach in there easily and replace the filter it needs to be uh, screwed down to the floor it's just setting in there right now but we'll get that wrapped up and there's also a pocket door that slides between the bedroom and the rest of the house out this way that we'll be putting back in place it's still in good shape but we'll have to rebuild this pocket because it got tore out from the previous guy that was working on this rip that out of there and we're gonna put it back run some paneling up across the top that we've got left over to finish it down this wall and close off that pocket anyway guys I'll throw a little montage of video or uh, pictures at the end of the video and kind of show the recent progress and hope you're all doing well out there thanks for watching the videos and uh, we're getting close we're getting real close take care